Today I'm going to show you how we can draw the particle size distribution curve for soil sieving analysis test. This curve called particle size distribution curve. We have a particle size diameter on horizontal axis with a logarithmic scale and we have a person passing or person finer on vertical axis with a linear scale. Here we have the curve of particle size distribution. Here we have a diameter of uh, corresponding to 60% of passing. Here we have a diameter corresponding to 30% of passing. And here we have a diameter corresponding to 10% of passing. In Excel we can draw this curve in easy way. Here we have two columns, a particle diameter, we should draw on in horizontal axis. And here we have a, par a person passing or person finer we should draw on the vertical axis first we are going to insert and uh, and the chart scatter chart so we can select this then right click on the chart and select data click on add in the series name you can write the particle size distribution curve Particle size is three curve. For x axis, we can select the particle diameter. For y axis, we can select the person of passing. Then click on OK. As I told you before the horizontal axis it should be logarithmic scale so just select this scale right click format axis then going to axis option just tick logarithmic scale logarithmic scale according to this curve or according to test the standard this value from the right hand side it should be start from 0.001 to 100 to left hand side then click on value in reverse order change the minimum value is 0.001 maximum value it should be 100 then the Unit major it should be 10 and the minor it should be 10. To move this vertical axis to left hand side, we should select the horizontal horizontal scale, right click format axis and then from axis option just uh, select this axis value here. We can see the vertical axis lie, lie on 1. We can change to 100, the maximum number here. Then select maximum axis value, like that. Then we should draw the, we should check the vertical axis because it, it, uh, the increment is 20. Mm -hmm. So it's better to, uh, to start the scale from 0, 10, 20, 30, something like that. Just uh, select this scale. I'm going to access option or you can, if there's no panel, select and right click format access. Then from access option, we can select the minor as 5 and the major as 10 then it will be fine to remove this in a last number select the axis then format axis option numbers remove this decimal number to zero then it will be fine better to draw the minor grid line for horizontal axis, just uh, select the 
horizontal axis and right click added minor grid line here we can see the grid line but it's not uh, clear we can change the color just select the horizontal axis and click on format minor grid line then go to the fill and line change the color as you want like this for major grid line this and this we can select this and format major grid line and from fill and line we can choose this we can change the thickness 1.5 is better yes we can change the font of this to for example for times new roman font uh, 14 same thing for, for vertical axis font size 11 and same thing for horizontal axis just uh, select 11 then we need to put the uh, horizontal and vertical mm, axis title just select the uh, chart go to design add the chart element uh, axis title primary with vertical primary horizontal and primary vertical just select this and go to times new roman for example uh, we need to select this 12 is better for example we write particle diameter and particle size d millimeter for this one also we can select times new roman for 12 we can written right person to a uh, finer then mm, percent we can resize the uh, chart as you want like this or like this it depends on your requirement now we should find the diameter corresponding to 60% and the diameter corresponding to 30% of passing and the diameter corresponding to 10% of passing just uh, make a table here you write this question. we can find the diameter for uh, for 60 percent of passing between this number and this number select this uh, cell go to formula find this function trend you can search from the function library just you can find uh, or you can search from this just write the call trend this kind of uh, bracket you can see this window from this field you can select this this two number select this one then for this select this constant is uh, 60 mean this one is uh, we have 60 as a constant should be written here then this one it should be this number and this number to find this uh, diameter between point 0.2 and point 0.5 press ok here the diameter between point 0.2 and point 0.5 for 60 percent of passing then same th same thing for 30 just uh, go to trend then select this sorry select this 35 to 23 
for second one we can select the passing and then 30 we can decrease the decimal yeah like that is better and same thing for detail select this formula recently used trend first one 10 between 11.4 and 9.1 we can select the diameter for first one and second one passing and third one 10 passing as a constant so the result it will be like that mm -hmm. we can change the font according to your requirement then we should draw this line for example we draw the horizontal line from 60 till intersect with the curve then we draw a vertical line till intersect with horizontal axis we can read this number for example this one point one this line and this line is point two and this line is point three and point four point five point six point seven point eight point nine one so this line it should be point two and, th and this amount it should be point two two four how we can draw this line for example i just doing the for one just for 16 for example we should have one point here one point here to draw the horizontal line what about the coordinate of this point x equal to 100 and y equal to 16 just right here for example x equal to 100 and y equal to 16 for this point y equal to this number uh, uh, sorry x equal to this number and y equal to 16 x equal to this and y equal to 16 then we can draw the line here the easiest way to to draw this kind of line for example i write horizontal line for 60 uh, uh, sorry i just select uh, don't select this select this for x axis and select this for y axis then we draw the horizontal line and then for this line this point the coordinate of this point x equal to this point two two four y equal to zero for example x equal to this y equal to zero for this point x equal to this number and y equal to sixteen sixteen then go to the chart and uh, select data and add for example i write vertical line for 16 for horizontal i just select this and uh, for uh, for why i just select this then i will draw two point here i can select this right click change chart type sorry select the chart go to for uh, design change our type uh, we need to select this uh-huh change this to remove the end point here we remove the point then we need to change the color select this and right click and format data series then go to fill online just change the color for this arrow we just going down then right select this kind of arrow 
you can do the same thing for this mm -hmm. we can change the thickness as you want for vertical line also we should uh, change the color and uh, start uh, the arrow then for the um, vertical thickness of the line here we draw the chart just go to insert and make a text box write uh, for example disk scene equal to point uh, then you need to select the font and bolt right down here something like that you can change the direction for example like this you need to change this change the chart uh, uh, area move this to provide a better view for example like this same thing for the 13 and for uh, 10 we can copy this paste here then change these numbers uh, for example there uh, for example we need to change this and 13 13 13 you can select this number just go to here select this for example for first one 13 horizontal select this number then here we draw the uh, uh, horizontal line for 30 here for 13 vertical just uh, select this and, uh, and select this then make some kind of editing by removing the endpoint and change the color and add the arrow Mm -hmm. yeah. Same thing with this kind of D16, D13, D10 you can find for you can use for find CU and CZ and used for classification of soil. You can share share and subscribe our channel. Thank you uh, for watching. See you next time.